Hello and welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be looking at how to move backups to your Proxmox server and restore them. So if you have a freshly installed Proxmox server, which you can see I don't in front of me, but let's pretend it is, and this is due to losing some of your VMs or LXCs, but you have backed them up and you still have access to your backups, you can move them to your new Proxmox server and restore them. So I'm going to kind of take a look at that process because I have a couple of LXCs that I want to move to this server that came from another server. So on my desktop here, I have a folder of the files that I've moved from my server. If we open this up, you can see that we have many different files here and they're the normal ones for Proxmox's backup if you were to open the VC dump file. So let's take a look at how to get them from my Windows computer to my Proxmox server and then the process that needs to be undertaken in order to restore them. So with that, let's start out by opening our start menu and getting ourselves an instance of Windows PowerShell. Now that we have Windows PowerShell up, we should be able to use a command called SCP to move these files. So we'll start out by entering SCP, and then we need to enter the location of the files on our Windows computer. And the way I like to do this is just to right click and go copy copy, move to PowerShell, and right click. And it should automatically paste them in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enter my user account, which for Proxmox will be root, an at symbol, and the IP or URL of our Proxmox server, which mine should be proxmox.local. And we should be able to now, oh, we need to put a colon and the location where we want them to go, which I want mine to go to root. We should be able to press enter. It's going to ask us, since we have never SSH'd to this server, if this is correct. So let's enter yes, press enter. Now we need to enter our Proxmox system password, press enter. And we forgot to tell SCP that this was a folder, so it failed. So let's go ahead, press our up arrow, scroll back to where the SCP command begins. We're gonna put a dash R, another space, and press enter. Enter that password again, and there we go. We're now uploading these files from our Windows computer to our Proxmox system. Okay, so it looks like our files have moved from our Windows computer to our Proxmox server, so we can go ahead and close PowerShell at this time. Back here at our Proxmox web interface, we can select our host and we're not going to pay attention to these updates. We can go up here and go to shell and we can see if our files moved by hitting LS. And you can see here that we do indeed have the dump file and we can do LS dump here and we can see that we have our files inside of that folder. So now what we need to do is move them to the correct location so our Proxmox web interface can identify them as backup files. And we're gonna do that with the command MV, and then we're gonna enter dump slash wildcard, a space, and then we're gonna enter var, lib, vz, and dump. And now we should be able to press enter, and our files hopefully have moved to where they're going. And we could do this again by doing another ls dump, and we can find there's no files there. Furthermore, if we wanted to, we could do an ls on var lib vz dump, and we should be able to see our files. So we can now close our shell terminal for our Proxmox server. We should be able to head over to our local drive here on our Proxmox web interface, select backups if it's not already selected, and we should see our files from the backup. Now the container that I particularly care about restoring is this one named Joplin right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, highlight it, and I'm gonna press restore. Now I do wanna take note of my container number just because it will be changing from that previous system. And I'm going to set everything as if it was on that previous system just because it ran there fine. It does ask us if we want to start after restoration and I'm gonna not check mine, but this may be something you wanna check. So now we should just be able to press 
restore. Now that we've gotten task okay, our container should have been created. We're gonna go ahead and close this window out if you've already done so, no worries. And we're gonna select our server. Now, like I said before, sometimes like if you're doing this from a backup and the server's in the same location, you'll be fine. You can just start it, run it, and go ahead. Me, today I'm moving locations, I'm moving servers and whatnot. So I'm gonna select network. I'm going to highlight our network adapter and I'm going to, for myself today, select DHCP and I'm going to select the bridge that I want it to operate on. This should serve as a reminder to you that you may have to reconfigure your network settings to make a container like this run depending on the level of restoration that you're doing from this backup where I'm moving from site to site and different Proxmox servers and different network configurations. I'm having to reconfigure my network device. I'll press OK and I can go ahead boot this up for you so that you can see it running. We'll just click on console real quick. I'm not going to necessarily even log into this server. I just want it to identify that it is up and running for you so you can see that the restoration was indeed successful. I hope you enjoyed this video about moving your backup files to your Proxmox server using SCP and how to restore them once you've moved them. As always, please like, share, and subscribe to Virtualize Everything to help virtualize everything grow and receive more content about Proxmox and other virtualization topics. Have a good night.